What is going on, my beautiful YouTube people? Thank you so much for tuning in to the best automotive channel on the tube. So is this what we're doing now? We're like lying to people? This isn't Stratman's channel. Like, who, who, who wrote the script? I mean, we only got like 149 subscribers. What the f is going on? What did he just say? Check the prompter. The prompter's fine. A, A, Ron. Read the copy, please. The copy's good, just read it. Thank you so much for tuning in though, honestly, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. If you haven't, you already know what to do. It don't cost you a penny, it don't cost you a dime. Just one second of your time, hit that subscribe button. In today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and bring you the most iconic vehicle of the early to mid 2000s. If you saw the thumbnail, obviously you already know what it is. It's American, it's not German. America, fuck yeah. Freedom is the it's forget about the G-Wagon. In the early to mid 2000s, if you are a fan of hip hop, this vehicle was everywhere from music videos to Hollywood movies to, you know, even the best show on the planet. Yes, Tony Soprano used to drive a Cadillac Escalade. I love the show, RIP to James Gandolfini, amazing actor. Anyways, um, I got my hands on this car about a couple weeks ago. I was able to detail it inside and out, and it also had a little bit of minor body damage that my father was able to fix up and make new. So I hope you guys like this video. Hit that thumbs up, and I hope you guys comment below and let me know what's on your mental.
Alrighty folks, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a head start on the vehicle. The outside has not been buffed yet, so that's gonna be my dad's job. I haven't really opened the rear of this truck. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, so it's a little worse than what I expected. The owner does carry his dog, so luckily he does put this protectant on here to protect the leather, so that's good. And uh, yeah, this is funny. I remember watching this guy, and uh, he's a cartoon character. Yeah, but yeah, I can't get a word in his way. But look, can you guys see the carpet, how dirty it is? There's like a lot of oil embedded into the uh, fabric here. Um, I just had a cortisone shot the other day on my middle finger right here. I don't know if you guys can see the little dot right there, right? And check this out, it gets stuck. Ah, uh, that hurts like a mother Alrighty, folks, we have the floor mats here set up and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and throw our fabric cleaner on here, let it soak into the fibers. Then we're gonna go ahead and steam clean it to kind of loosen up all the grime, and then we'll go ahead and extract it. We are gonna be using our Chemical Guys Nonsense Invisible Super Cleaner. So after three passes, I finally got done with the car floor mats. I had my dad take a look at them because I can't see too good. And I told him, how are they looking? And he said, well, better than they came in. That's for sure. So I'll take his word for it. The rear mats look a lot better. The color on it is looking much, much lighter. But the ones in the front obviously have a little bit more oil embedded into the fabric. I'll do one more pass. I've had to use a number of different chemicals to try and extract the oil that is embedded into this fabric, but I mean, you can only do so much, right? So we used our nonsense invisible cleaner and we did our lightning fast. We also have our foam carpet cleaner. I wanna show you guys the fluids that were extracted out of these carpets. Check this out, guys. Yeah, disgusting. That's what was inside of the carpets, guys. There we go. Get that nice and dry. We got all the supplies ready to go. Shout out to Chemical Guys, always and forever. We got our McCulloch steamer, we got our vacuum, and we got our extractor. Oh man, why did my dad lock it? All right, we got the keys. We got the keys to the streets, baby. I'm seeing that there is a lot of gunk embedded into the door panel, at least here in the driver's side. Took a look at the leather and uh, yeah, like I've always said, if it's shine, it's full of grime. So the leather's gonna be uh, getting a nice steam clean. So, and also guys, check out these curls, all natural baby. We're gonna get all this stuff out. So check it out, we have, you know, some discoloration right here. Obviously there's a lot of uh, debris on here. And then look at the door sill, it's really gunky. We're gonna go ahead and throw our uh, Nonsense Invisible Cleaner. We're gonna go ahead and steam clean all of the uh, door panels. You can see, you know, with the sun hitting it, you can see a bit of shine. Look at the driver's seat. Look how dark it is. We're gonna get that back to the creamy color that it used to be. All this garbage in here. Well, it's not really garbage, it's like change. Difficult for me to get this change out of here, so we'll find a way. Uh, I'm wearing a glove though, because one time I was cleaning one of these door panels and there was like a bunch of debris in here. And because I wasn't wearing a glove, there was broken glass and I cut my fingers. And you belong to the club of genius billionaires, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, you come up with genius ways to fix a problem, right? What? What the fuck? Oh yeah, baby. We got all the change out of the uh, door pocket right here. 
so by far the headliner isn't too bad it's not uh riddled with stains um i can only see this one right here and i don't know if you guys can see it on camera here this one and that one we're gonna go ahead and extract it with our lightning fast and uh, the way we do that is we just put a little bit of product into our brush there's no need for machines on this you just kind of like let the product work itself into the fibers you know look it's almost coming out so then get a microfiber and gently 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 blot it gently 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 so after the first initial pass we're seeing that the uh, stain has removed now you are going to see a little bit of a shadow right now because it is a little bit of wet right there so once that fully dries up it's going to be completely gone and do the panels so the pillars i'm sorry i'm going to go ahead and do those look at full of grime full of dirt So I took down the seat and I found that. We're gonna go ahead and clean it. I don't know what kind of substance that is. Took out all the mud that was in the rear. Back to new. Alrighty folks, so I'm done with the rear. Went ahead and extracted all the fluid that was embedded into the fibers there. Just gotta let it dry up completely. I did um did all that. Looking mighty fine. Alright now for my favorite part, the extraction juice. There you go. Wow. And the owner has said that the vehicle was not that dirty. <laughs> now, I am having such a Doug DeMuro moment right now because as I'm cleaning the rear seat, I put down the armrest and look what I found. Escalade headphones. I have never seen Escalade headphones. And I got to thinking, wait a minute, there's no rear seat entertainment. Like there's no TV back here, right? But then I realized that there's a stereo. Back in the day, you would plug in your headphones right here, and then you had your volume controls right here, and you had independent control of the media from the driver's side.
one more door panel to clean. And as you can see, it's pretty filthy. This was the one that had all the change in it. So I gotta clean all that. So after a grueling six hours, I am finally finished with this interior, guys. I steam cleaned all the leather, every nook and cranny. This is how leather should look. It's got a nice matte look to it. Cleaned up the door sill. Look at that. Finally see what it says. Cadillac. Cleaned up the door panels. The driver's side obviously was a little bit more dirty than the other ones. Check it out. So this area right here, remember you guys seeing a lot of grime? It's all gone now. Door pockets looking mighty fine. Got the rear seats all done. Just so you guys know what time it is 5 43. Diablo wheel and tire cleaner I love this stuff. Alrighty folks, so this is the main reason why we had to wake up at the break of dawn. That is go ahead and put our ceramic hydro suds wash. The metal cannot be hot by any means because the fuck is my hose out here? Um it can dry up the ceramic and that's a no-no.
other conditioner here that we are going to go ahead and put into the Escalade. First, we're going to go ahead and protect the interior plastics and the screen and all that with our total interior care. Let's get started. Keep on stacking it, what's happening? Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then. Life has been a movie, yeah, so shout out to the cameraman. Pull up to the scene, it's going down like an avalanche. Steady going up like a travel plan. Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan. That's a Carla. Manny, look at it. Pelican fly. Come on, Pelican. Yeah, I'm off that dope, like I'm back again to visit. At the Millie's, out on Club Hurts. Give the word if it's a city, love for me. Still have emotion, dog, so why would I slow it? Make it rain on them, bust a band, then you throw it. We were steady, 